Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to help you figure out the length of the radius. Uh, it says, so it says, find the length of the radius. Assume lines that appear to be tangent are tangent. Yes, so this line is tangent. We don't really have to assume anything. If you know that lines that are tangent that intersect the radius are perpendicular, so they already put that 90 degree angle there, so we don't really have to assume much. Um, so uh, if we just look at this, um, we can know that they're tangent. So uh, let's figure out the length of this radius. So these two right here, these two lines are radii because they both start at the center and go to the circle. So yeah, these segments are radii. Um, so let's figure out what color pen we wanna use and uh, let's start doing some math. So uh, because this line is tangent, it makes a right triangle and we have information about this right triangle. So we can use that famous theorem, the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, so if you guys forgot what the Pythagorean theorem, it's C squared equals A squared plus B squared. And C is the hypotenuse, and here's our right angle. The right angle is looking, or it's opposite. Uh, this this hypotenuse is opposite the right angle, so here's our hypotenuse. Uh, the length of this isn't R8 or 8 times R. No, it's adding. So we're going to write R plus 8 squared so there's our hypotenuse and our a um, is not this point a but it, the other one of the two legs of this right triangle so let's make a this leg right here which is r and then squared because of the formula radius squared plus b which is this other leg right here for the right triangle which is 12 squared all right, so now uh, let's do some math. I think that uh, some of you guys may do this. You may see there's a square here, there's a square here, there's a square here, so we can just square root both sides. However, that breaks some rules, that breaks some algebra rules because there's a plus sign right here. We can't square root both sides to get rid of all these squares right here. Uh, if it was just this, if it was just R squared and this, then that's fine, we could do that. Or if it was just this and this, uh, we could do that. Or if there wasn't a plus sign, if it was uh, R squared tw times 12 squared, then we could square root both sides. But the big thing that keeps us from being able to make this an easier problem like you want it to be, like the world wants it to be, is this plus sign. So this plus sign says, nope, you cannot square root both sides. So, what we have to do is this. We have to actually have to do some algebra. We have to work this out. And again, uh, well, not again, but for the first time, you cannot distribute this square into here and into here because this plus sign. So these pluses make things a little complicated. So what we have to do is write r plus 8 twice. So r plus 8 times r plus 8. Okay. So remember, a square just means there's two, this is multiplying it by itself, so we just expanded it. And we're going to write r squared plus, now 12 squared is not 24, it's 12 times 12, which is 144. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to distribute twice or foil, whatever you want to call it. So take this r distribute it there and we're going to take this 8 and distribute here and here so let's distribute this r first r times r is r squared r times 8 is 8 r now then we're going to distribute this 8 to here and here 8 times r is 8 r and 8 times 8 is 64 so this this turns into this which turns into this whole reason again why we can't just square root both sides is because of the plus sign if you did you get a totally different answer and that totally different answer would be totally wrong so don't be totally wrong next thing bring down this r squared plus 144. uh now let's look at this side of the equation let's see if you can combine any like terms yeah we can combine this 8r plus 8r which is 16r plus 64 now we have this r squared is equal to r squared plus 144 and uh 
let's get all the r's on one side let's get this r squared uh let's get rid of it so let's subtract this r squared from here and to here it's like term and these actually cancel out so it makes things a little easier and let's take the 64 and bring it to the other side so that we have r's on one side and all the numbers without variables on the other side and let's take our trusty calculator hopefully we trust it 144 minus 64 is 80 so we have so these cancel out this turns into 80 and this 16r will bring it over here we'll bring it a little closer and the last step let's divide the 16 on both sides and 80 divided by 16, I think it's 5, and yep, I beat the calculator. So uh, R is equal to 5. So the radius equals 5. This radius equals 5 because all the radii are the same in the same circle. So here's your final answer. R equals 5 there. R equals 5 there. 5 units. There's no inches, no feet, so it's just 5 units and there's your final answer. So again, uh, don't you cannot square root both sides because of this plus sign. Um, so and don't distribute this to here and here because of the plus sign. You have to do some real algebra so you get the correct answer and you don't get a totally different answer, which is the totally wrong answer. Get the totally right answer, which is five. All right. Hope this helps. Have a great day. Bye.